Have you ever wondered what separates a bank from a fintech company? It's a question that's become increasingly relevant as the financial landscape evolves. Today, we're going to dive deep into one such company kickoff. Is it a bank or is it something else entirely? Let's start with the basics. What is kickoff exactly? Well, on the surface, it seems like a pretty typical financial institution. You can open accounts, make payments, and even invest. But is that enough to classify it as a bank? To answer that question, we need to look beyond the superficial. Banks have traditionally been heavily regulated institutions with a focus on providing traditional financial services. Fintech companies, on the other hand, are often more innovative and technology-driven, offering a wider range of products and services. Kickoff certainly has some characteristics of a bank. It offers core banking services and is subject to some regulatory oversight. However, it also exhibits traits of a fintech company. Its innovative approach to personal finance and its reliance on technology set it apart from traditional banks. The regulatory environment is a crucial factor to consider. As fintech companies like Kickoff grow in popularity, regulators are increasingly scrutinizing their activities. This can lead to both opportunities and challenges. On one hand, Kickoff's blend of traditional banking and fintech innovation can offer customers a more comprehensive and convenient financial experience. On the other hand, it may face challenges in balancing the demands of different regulatory frameworks. So, is Kickoff a bank? The answer is not entirely black and white. It's a hybrid entity that sits somewhere between traditional banking and fintech. As the financial landscape continues to evolve, it will be interesting to see how companies like Kickoff navigate these changing waters. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.